There are always some reasons why we play the way we play. It can be different for each player. Everyone enjoys different parts of the game. So according to this, we can divide our gameplay motivations into 6 dimensions and 12 sub-motivations. According to my profile, one of my most important motivations is immersion. My immersion percentage is 82. I think we remember what happened here. Depending on this dimension, the two of my sub-motivations are fantasy and story, which means I'm a bigger fan of interesting stories and settings. As much as I love role-playing features of the game, I also love getting lost in the story and connecting with characters. To me, being able to stay connected to the game is really important, and because of this, I love the fact that what I choose can change the storyline. This makes me feel more immersed to the game. The game I chose for this dimension is Little Hope. Little Hope is an interactive drama video game with horror futures. This game has incredible realistic visuals and an amazing story. Little Hope is a horror game, so the both story and visuals are very important to immerse the player into the game. This place has some great history. Also, my favorite feature of this game is that you can see the outcomes of your actions on the character interface. So your character's personality is shaped by you. You can see the current character's relationship with other characters, the pictures you observed, the objects you interacted with, and some special outcomes. Hey. Come and check this out. What on earth is that? Not a clue. Like I mentioned before, the environment is very important for me in a horror game. And for this game, you can feel that you're in the dark abandoned town called Little Hope. Other than the atmosphere, jump scare moments and sudden cinematic scenes are very successful to scare the players. And this way you can experience the horror features more by interacting with the game. Who are you? <laughs> Pray, tell me your name, lady. Angela. I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. Come play with what me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. That's it. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. Amen. Amen. Come back here. There's someone else out here. By the fire. I, I, I don't see any fire. I saw him too. Are you okay?
How can you not have seen that? I couldn't see anything through this impossible, impenetrable fog. Well, go ahead. Tell them what we saw. A little girl appeared out of the fog, and then just like that, she was gone again. What is going on? Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. I said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream. Also, as a second dimension, my action percentage is 83. And for action, sub-motivations are excitement and destruction. So this means I enjoy fast-paced, intense games. For this dimension, I choose Ghost of Tsushima. This game is an action-adventure game. You can play the story mode, which is about a samurai who is trying to protect the Tsushima island from the Mongol attacks, or you can play online and fight against other players or Mongols. I really like aggressive and destructive gameplay. For me, the explosions and effects are important parts of the game. They should be realistic and impressive, and the game should make me feel the adrenaline while I play. Generally, I don't block most of the attacks from enemies. Instead, I continuously attack them. Gameplay in the video is from the online mode of the game, and while protecting my zones, I usually throw bombs to the enemies and attack more than one enemy. Or I just throw bombs to only one enemy for fun. And I also enjoy jumping and running around, using my hook to swing between places, walking on roofs and interacting with other explosive objects are making my gameplay experience more fun. I also like to play this game with my friends or other people. According to my profile, my social dimension is 65%. Social dimension sub-motivations are competition and community. And as you can see in my gameplays, I enjoy the teamwork. For me, socializing and collaborating with other players are more important than competing with them. I like the fact that while fighting, we all have different roles to support each other. 
Some players are healers, some are supporting from far, and some are fighting next to you. And it's relieving to know that if someone falls, a teammate can revive them.